everyone welcome back to Mika made it how are you guys doing I hope you're well and enjoying your day um, if you haven't got a chance yet please make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel so that way you can see what I have coming up next in terms of like you know meal ideas and you know different vegetarian um, meal recipes for you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed the last two videos. Um, I had made jerk mushrooms and before that I think I made rasta pasta. Um, <laughs> I can't help but say it like that when I say it. Anywho, so um, today I wanted to make some more like sweet treats because I haven't done that in a while and also it's like super easy and quick and um, I want to um, you know just show some different ideas for you to do um, even if you're feeling like a little bit snacky. So I'm going to be making some no-bake brownie bites today and of course I'm going to be sharing the ingredients with you guys and letting you know exactly how much to put in so that way you don't have to you know bust your head um, trying to um, think of the or know the recipe. I hate that. Don't you guys hate that? When like you want to make something and the person's not giving the right measurements because you're like I want to make sure it tastes like how it's supposed to come out or whatever but anywho so i'm going to share those ingredients with you so that way you know exactly what to expect and um yeah so let's go make these delicious brownies all right to get started we're going to mix together our wet ingredients which is just some almond butter maple syrup and semi-sweet chocolate chips I'll of course list out the exact measurements in the description below and then we're gonna of course add this to our dry ingredients which is um, some almond flour, cocoa powder and one pinch of salt and you're gonna mix that together until you get a really nice batter so you will smooth it out really easily because of the almond butter it makes it like super easy to do and then i thought it was so funny that those were on there because um that's not how i came up with this idea so anyways here we're going to now add our um almond bites or create our almond bites i should say by using one tablespoon of the batter and then we're just going to cover them in our coconut shavings and we'll repeat this process until we don't have any batter left and they look like this so here they are everyone some delicious brownie bites and i did also melt down some dark chocolate with some coconut um, oil but that's completely optional hi everyone so thanks for staying around to see how the brownie bites turned out so they turned out good here they are they are really delicious they are chewy and uh chocolatey so if you like chocolatey chewy things like I love brownies so this is a really fun dessert for me to have or snack for you to have they're very like decadent so you may just want to have like one <laughs> and you'll be satisfied if you want another one you can because it's not so much of a guilty pleasure in that it's made with um, cocoa powder almond flour and um, just like some almond butter and maple syrup so it's really like you know simple ingredients that you can use to make make this so if you want to try a new dessert then i recommend that you give these brownie bites a try and tell me what you think tell me what you know how you how you like them if you if it's too chewy for you because i did pilot this <laughs> and shared it with some of my family members and for some of them it was too chewy but i like it i mean they like it too but like they said it's a little bit too um, chewy but it depends on the person is how i feel so i think you should give it a try see if you like it and then tell me in the comments how um you know you liked it silly me i forgot to eat one for you guys <laughs> mm -hmm. delicious i don't want to talk anymore because there might be chocolate on my teeth okay bye guys <laughs> 